I remember the last time we shot, I was in a super grumpy mood, which apparently I hid really well, according to you. Yeah. But um, you told me this story that had me like crying with laughter. And um, it actually like seriously made my day because it was such a good story and it was so funny. And I remember like after you told me the story and we started shooting and I kept like giggling about it. Like I just couldn't like stop thinking about it. So um, can you tell our audience this uh this story and this is a yeah. great behind the scenes story because this is a very unusual occurrence and this is just a great example of like the weird shit that happens on set sometimes i tend to have not bad experiences but i tend to have weird experiences on set because i don't think out of you know a lot of people in the industry i've had quite a few like just awkward mm-hmm. type of situations but i was on set and it was out in las vegas so usually when you Shoot in Las Vegas, you get on like a six thirty seven a.m. flight, so it's right. early, super early. You're up at three, you know. Mm-hmm. You're in a bad mood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I land, and then I was doing a boy, girl, 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 three girls. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I said that right. Anyways, the male talent, he was very cocky, and he came in, and the first thing he said to us is, "You guys are gonna get my dick hard today." Which, I mean... You're like, yeah, that's the point. Right. (laughs) I've never really had to, like, if a guy needs extra help or whatever, you know, like, and to get in the mood, like, whatever, but I've never had someone, like, come up and, like, say that. You know, it's kind of just already... You just already are going to get the person hard because you're going to have sex. So, whatever. So, I was turned off. I was like, no, I'm not going to do that for you. Do you think that... Did it sound like he said that in a way of, like... To prove a, he did it to like prove a point. Like he said that he was tired because he got on the eleven o'clock flight, okay. and since he was tired, that he didn't want to work. He didn't want to himself off to get himself hard. Oh, so we were gonna after we were already exhausted too. We're gonna sit on our knees and we're gonna get work overtime to get him hard because he felt like he was more tired than us. Oh, okay, okay. So that's that was kind already of, that's already like kind of. A- the attitude to come in with. Right. Yeah. And like it just does not turn you on, you know, to like no. hear stuff like that. Yeah. But the two other girls were new and I was just like, which I was kind of new to, but I was like, no, you know, I'm mm-hmm. not doing that. Mm-hmm. Sorry, bye. Then we're doing like intro and, you know, the dialogue and stuff and he kept coming in even though it wasn't part of his like, he, he wasn't supposed to be in the scene and getting his dick sucked by the two other girls. So I'm like, Hey, stop doing that because you're gonna pre pop. And I was always taught that you're not seeing someone's dick three hours before the actual scene because they get too aroused and the scene's over in five minutes. I've yeah. had a lot of pre pop, and apparently, and, yes, you've had a lot my, of experience. With yeah, that. and I don't want to do it today. I'm, a, I'm everyone's tired. Kept coming in, you know. I just ignored it. Then we go and like get, wait, okay. So when would he come in to get his? Because you guys are doing like dialogue, so like when they're like repoing so, the cameras or yes, something, yes, yes. So, you just walk in. I, I'd be so f- pissed if someone did that on my set. I was, and you know, I feel like sometimes the the directors and stuff they don't want to say stuff to the male talent and like throw them off in a yeah, way. So that's they absolutely true. They kind of they ignore a lot, you know, mm-hmm. until we say something or yeah. you know you bring it up. But it was a VR, so you know, there's a lot of like switching the cameras around and mm-hmm. whatever. So they would go to switch the cameras around. He would run in and then like try to get us sucked and then run away. And then <laughs> I'm like, it has nothing to do with you. Like, please, just you know, it's just, just five I just minutes. This like, guy, like running in, seriously, getting his sucked, running out of the set like a little f-ing cartoon character. It was so weird to me. So then. We go to do the actual scene, and I get in first position. Mm-hmm. I do two, literally two pumps, and he inside of me. <laughs> but when he's he's screaming like ah, you know, like panicking as he's, and I'm like, what is going on here? Like I'm so, so I'm like squatting over top of it. I'm like, wait, what's going? you know, like he's like. Why oh, he's- he was like screaming. I'm like, what's going on? You know, so then I quick get off and he's like, you know, like, there's like everywhere and whatever. Oh. And, and I'm like, oh my God. So my heart like sank because I was like, this is going to be such a long day because we couldn't even get two pumps. And Jesus. so then he's like, you know, panicking. And then he's asking the director, did I do good? Did I do good? And he's like, no, you didn't. You know, you're you, pre pop. You 
Damn, after two pumps, you did not do good. Yeah, so then we go try to shoot some more, and he's soft because he already came. Right. Then he screams at me, goes, Elsa, I'm looking at you to get my card, and like, you're not getting my card, and oh blaming me God. that he's free pop. So I'm like, I freak out, right? And uh-huh. I'm like, go to the bathroom, go fix yourself. You know, like, <laughs> and I don't usually... <laughs> This is the only time I've had to like talk to a talent like this, but I was so pissed because I was right. Yeah. So I'm like, go to the bathroom, go fix yourself. Don't talk to me like that. Don't talk to anyone else like that just because you f***ed up. Yeah. You were the one who f***ed up. Apologize to everyone. Yeah. And I was kind of mad at the other girls because like, if you would have just like acknowledged what I said, you know, everyone's like, yeah, behind now. Anyway, so he's crying. Like crying? He's like crying, you know. Like, like crying, crying. He's like, like ah, she's yelling at me. <laughs> he's like, goes into like a corner, right? But we're all in the living room. So I'm just laying on the floor, you know, minding my own business. And I'm like hearing him cry. And then I get like on, I hear, I look over and, you know, he has his phone on speaker. I'm, Mommy. He called his mom? Yes. Mommy. <laughs> Yeah, on speakerphone. It was his mom and his dad on a three-way call. <laughs> Mommy, she's yelling at me, and I, you know, I can't get my car. And she is, you know, sc- she screamed at me. So I'm like, oh my god, like my <laughs> is so dry right now. Like, how am I supposed to get through this day? And then there's a girl, like she crawls over to him, trying to. <laughs> as he's shaking in the corner, crying to his mom and getting his sucked in. <laughs> then his mom's like, don't listen to her, son. You could get your card. You know? <laughs> it was so disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just sitting there and I'm looking around, you know, like, oh, wow, this is really what's happening. That's so insane. It was so stressful <laughs> 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 be there. 